I think everyone at, at an early age was saying this kid is going to make the NBA. Yeah. So it, I'm not surprised at all, and I don't think anybody from this area was surprised. He was already playing years up uh, above his age and, and dominating. It's like his mental toughness that he had compared to what we had was just different. Like he was a different beast at such a young age, and the work ethic, of course, Roger instilled in him. I remember Jamal was coming in at 6, 6 7 a.m. in the morning here and when we were in grade nine, so just coming in to, to Grand River, he would call me up because he wanted to train. The whole school loved him just because he always brought that energy. Like, you can never tell if he's ever having a bad day or anything. Um, he's always just positive with everybody he interacts with. Um, nice to everybody, doesn't matter who you are, and I think that's why everybody gravitates towards him. Off the court, he was always really friendly, outgoing, goofy. I'm sure you guys know that, interviewing and interacting with him. And on the court, he knew how to flip that switch and carry that same intensity. So literally, right when he's on the court, he's like a different beast. And you can see that in his games now. It's the same, same intensity he had in high school as well. Murray, again, using the yoke of screen. He honestly has a, a lot of a similar play style back then than he does now, and we call him Glitch for a reason. Um, you probably see his Instagram handle, JM Glitch, is because it, it looked like a video game glitch with some of the stuff he was doing. Mm -hmm. he, he's a microwave, like you guys know. He'll hit like five shots in a row, so or, and crazy shots, like the toughest ones you can imagine. He's already done that a lot. You see the bubble. It looked like a video game when he was in there, the stuff he was doing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Jamal Murray with a 360 spinner. That's why we called him Glitch. It didn't seem real, some of the stuff he was doing, even when he was like 13, 14, 15 years old. The mesmerizing talent of Jamal Murray. Nine point Denver lead. Even if you're not a basketball fan and you live in Kitchener, when you hear the name Jamal Murray, you, you know who they're talking about. So um, definitely a lot of people have pride when, when uh, that he hails from Kitchener and I'm sure you know, when we hear on the broadcast team and they say Jamal Murray, Kitchener, Ontario, people are doing a little fist bump because it's like, that's where we're from, so. And it's not just Kitchener, it's every like small town yeah. within Ontario. Like he said, GTA, everybody knows what GTA, Corey Joseph, Tristan Thompson, all of them, they've, they've paved that way already. But like, small town kids in Ontario don't really get heard about like that and don't make it to that level. Rocky, Rocky, come on. Yeah, Rocky, 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 come on. We're on three, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah, there's no way in hell he wasn't playing tonight. You know what I mean? There's, even if he's on one leg, you know, he's got probably 40, 50 people uh, in the building tonight. Uh, this game means a, a lot to him, obviously. Everybody, I mean, could have been more, but there's a lot of people that uh, know me growing up and obviously I come from a small town, so. Um, I have a big name out there in Kitchener. Um, it's nice to see everybody in Toronto, even just friends I haven't seen. Um, it's cool. He's given so many kids confidence to to chase their dreams and everything, because you, you've never seen a guy from Kitchener make it that far, let alone to Kentucky and then to the NBA. It's like so many other kids are chasing that dream now because they've seen a guy like Jamal make it, a guy from a small town like that. The involvement in the basketball community has grown too just because of his achievements in basketball. So like his impact's great.